I'm David Yanez from the Spanish Research Council in, in Granada, in Spain, and I work in animal nutrition, rumi microbiology, and the environmental impact of uh, livestock production in general. Obviously, the overall management with the personnel and the, and the buildings and the facilities uh, is, is a very good one uh, around ventilation, uh, keeping warm in, in, the, in the winter, keeping um, cold or colder in the summer period. So, so that's a very important uh, aspect to, um, to consider. Then others uh, can be also related to um, avoiding um, digestive disorders like uh, diarrhea, acidosis, uh, and, and there are many options uh, using feed additives. Gists are a good example of uh, to, to avoid uh, dropping pH and therefore acidosis in animals. Yes, absolutely, uh, because uh, basically we are, by having animals that stay in the farm for longer with more lactations, we are diluting the emissions uh, by the amount of milk that these animals produce. Uh, every animal in a dairy farm has to stay for at least 40 months uh, growing and in, during pregnancy before it goes into milk production. So the more lactations that we have for that animal, that previous period is diluted and, and the overall emissions intensity will be, uh, will be reduced. There are obviously many options. One is to uh, have a good nutrition, so to avoid uh, any health issue. We were talking about acidosis, but also uh, uh, toxemia around uh, pregnancy or early lactation. That's going to uh, help to have a, a longer life. Uh, but also um, breeding for uh, animals that have, uh, are more rustic. And, 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 and in fact, in the breeding programs they are using now, Longevity is a, is a factor that is um, more considered in the, in the overall equation. So, um, yeah, breeding for animals that, that live for longer. But yeah, essentially, uh, good nutrition, uh, good management in the farm, and breeding for um, animals that can live for longer. Yes, yeah, uh, the quality of the diet is one of them, but then there are uh, many uh, options uh, in the field of uh, feed additives. Gist, for instance, is, uh, is a very good one. The, it has been shown to improve the function of the rumen in some challenging periods like uh, heat stress uh, or around weaning. Uh, and therefore, if we use uh, these kind of um, interventions uh, during those critical periods, uh, animal welfare status uh, will be much better. Mm -hmm.